And we're back in Bloomberg's Google Hangout Nerve Center at the U.S. Africa Business Forum. I'm John Allen with Bloomberg. And joining me now is Milena Hiley, the CEO of ePulse. Uh, Milena, first of all, i got to ask you, uh, what's the vibe of this conference right now? You've, uh, you've had some time to, to spend here yesterday and now today early in the morning. What's it, what's it like for uh, folks who haven't been able to make the trip here? Sure. Uh, first of all, thank you, John, for having me on your studio. Um, it's actually very exciting out there. You have folks um, that are CEOs, business leaders, thought leaders, um, as well as heads of state, uh, individuals representing uh, civil society, NGO. So it's really a mix of uh, different interests um, uh, that are represented at this forum. Uh, there's a lot of great ideas. There's a lot of optimism. Um, and people are also asking, okay, you know, how can we use this as a stepping stone to do great things um, and uh, build better relationships between the U.S. And, and Africa. So it's an exciting place to be. And you were born in Ethiopia, educated at the University of Virginia here, two degrees, I think, from the University of Virginia. Yes, yes. Uh, for, uh, for young folks who come from Africa to the United States, uh, what is the, what's the key thing, and uh, part particularly Ethiopia, what's the key thing you sell about uh, investment in your home country when you talk to folks and why uh, Americans should be investing in Ethiopia and, and more broadly in Africa? Sure. Um, particularly if we start with Ethiopia, um, it's um, 9 million people. I think that's a, it's a great market. Um, it has uh, resources. It has diversity in terms of what it offers and the types of investments. Um, in addition to that, not only being a great market, I think that it is a great um, gateway to other cities in Africa. So it could be a pit stop to if you're going to Kenya or South Africa. So it has become a hub really for um, any activities in East Africa. So it's a very attractive place to be. If you step back and look at Africa as a whole, I mean, we're talking about 55 countries. Right. So it's very hard to say um, and be very prescriptive about you know the investment approach. But I would it's not say monolithic. it's not exactly exactly. So I always um, uh, refrain from uh, you know referring to Africa just in one block, but really looking at the context of each country because there's nuances and uniqueness that each region and each country has. It's very important to. Um, to, to, to study each of these areas and then make that, those investment decisions because of the uniqueness. They all bring you know, different things to the table and if you're a you know, US-based investor, I think doing the due diligence and really understanding um, the, the local culture, going in there with an open mind and an open heart. Uh, at the end of the day, you have to love, um, in a sense, the, the, you know, the area that you're working in. Um, so uh, I, I think it's a very exciting uh, place to be. I think there's a lot of innovation coming out from the region, as we can see in telecom and banking. So um, I tell folks, pay attention. It's, it's really uh, something special. And uh, speaking of uh, telecom, mobile uh, technology, sure. uh, your CEO of ePulse uh, using mobile technology, which is a, a very advanced in a lot of countries in Africa. In fact, sure. talk about leapfrogging. Uh, the, the sort of landline telephones, the old school stuff uh, that we had here into the into the cellular era, era sure. mobile era. Uh, sure. Tell me what ePulse does. I know they're, you're still working on some of the details, yeah. not ready to roll it out entirely, <laughs> but what, what, sure. what will ePulse do? What does it do? Sure. ePulse is an initiative to provide market data on global entrepreneurial ecosystems. Our initial focus is uh, urban markets, urban corridors in uh, developing economies. Um, this actually all started by um, when I was actually studying the uh, mobile landscape in Kenya, in South Africa, particularly what was happening in mobile financial services. This is a very exciting um, industry because it is disrupting uh, a cash-based economy. Um, it is disrupting how we provide products and services uh, to consumers and users who probably wouldn't be aware of uh, that these products and services existed. So it's, a, it's an inclusive really industry because it's bringing all individuals um, um, into, a, into an area where they probably wouldn't have um, had that um, exposure. And so I think this is um, a very exciting industry, not only just because you're in telecom, but if you look at health and education, you know, folks are getting access to all these um, uh, 
innovative ways of learning and innovative ways of conducting services, innovative ways of um, access to health. And um, I think there's a lot that the West, uh, those of us based in Washington and so forth, to learn from these innovative models um, and see how we can apply it even to our own regions, even with the, um, uh, the fact that we have uh, sort of a legacy system. Mm -hmm. I think learning about what is happening on the ground in Africa is going to um, inform how we can address our um, domestic issues. And what do you think, uh, what's your best hope for this summit? What do you think comes out of here that's uh, valuable for you on, the, on an individual level? I mean, beyond the uh, investment that's been announced by the president today, uh, $14 billion, uh, on a personal level, what do you hope to get out of it? So uh, I've already been getting a whole lot out of it. I've been meeting some folks that I you know, read about in the paper and you know, they're sitting next to me and having great conversations. Um, again, it's about capitalizing on the optimism that we see today. Um, and how do we institutionalize that so that I can come back to you in a year, John, and say, well, you know, we had that conversation um, in August of 2014. This is, look how far we've come. And these are sort of the outcomes that we've had um, in terms of U.S.-Africa business relations. Um, if we can measure and, and, and see the outcomes, I think then there's momentum behind it. People will, will buy and there will be more investments. And so that's really my hope, is uh, building on the activities that we've had today, the commitments, uh, the enthusiasm, the optimism, to actually have some uh, tangible um, outcomes in a year, two years, ten years from now. And last question, if folks go to Addis Ababa, what do they have to see or do? Well, where should I start and how long do you have? <laughs> Do you have a well, shout out for somewhere in your hometown, something to do or see that's... Uh... You know, it's, it's really going to be uh, based on an individual's interests, but Addis has, I think, a variety of options, whether you're into the wildlife, you have to, of course, get away from the city a little bit. But if you just step back and look at Ethiopia as a whole, there's, you know, Lalibala, the, the great... Um, one of the, I think it's called the eighth wonders of uh -huh. the world now. Um, those are uh, very exciting scenes. Uh, if you step out of this city, the landscape completely changes. Um, uh, you see, you, you get more in touch with the um, more of the savanna, and um, I think that is going to what makes Ethiopia interesting. Um, but Addis in itself has a you know a variety of options. Uh, whether you're the nightlife, whether you're into uh, culinary. Um, so I, I'd say first go there, step back, take it, take it in, um, and then um, I think you can just build your own experience from that. Well, Milena Hailey, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. CEO of ePulse. I know we're going to be uh, hearing a lot from You're you You're going to have future. me back in a year or so. Yes, we'll have you back. Uh, we'll keep in touch with you. You can tell Absolutely. us how ePulse is developing. Absolutely. Great. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thanks really so much, John. It. I appreciate it. And uh, we will be back uh, shortly from the U.S. Africa Business Forum. This is the Bloomberg Google Hangout. Right in the middle of the action, the ballroom, we've got the CEOs here. We've got the heads of state here. And in a moment, I think I spot her off camera right now, Congresswoman Barbara Lee of California. So we'll be back in a moment.